show okay so yeah so uh, basically I was going to talk about fish shops so fish shop um, when you go shopping for fish it's always nice to um, be able to ask exactly for what you want and I'm sure many of you buy fish in Portugal and the best place to get the fish obviously is at the market or the mercado or the praça as it's also known so some of the larger supermarkets also sell fish and the fish is often really really fresh and um, one supermarket chain has got its own fleet of trawlers do you know which supermarket chain that is okay so this quick video I'm just gonna explain how to get what you want if there's something that I missed out please let me know in the comments below okay so there are many varieties of fish to choose from I'm sure that you've seen some of these fish but you're really not sure what exactly they are so we're gonna go through a short list here atum is tuna bacalhau is cod pescada is hake salmão is salmon salmonette is mullet sardinha is sardine then we've got a family of four bream fish bazugo dourada sargo and pargo we've also got a couple of um, mackerel now the, I wasn't sure what the names of these mackerel so we've got carapau which is mackerel and we've got cavallo which is also mackerel but it's apparently it's horse mackerel which is cool because cavallo kind of sounds like horse then we've got the grupa fish shern and garupa these are sh these are grouper of fish um, apparently the garupa has fewer calories and it's more nutritional then we've got Ispadart, which is swordfish, which has like the long sword on the nose. And we've got one that people often get confused with, which is scabbard fish, which looks like the long blade of a sword. And it's actually called Peixe Ispada. We've got Linguado, soul. Solha, which is place. Corvina, which is croakerfish. Rebalu, which is sea bass. Tamburil, which is monkfish. Now these are basically your, your kind of larger fish. We've also got lula, shoku, polvu. They're not really fish, as I suppose, but yeah. And then we've got the eels too, moreia and safiu. So when ordering your fish, don't forget to be polite. So the first thing you say is bon dia or boa tarde. And then the peixeiro or the peixeira, the fish seller, might say diga. And it's not being rude, they've just got a lot of fish to sell and that's the way they do it. So um, when you're asking for your fish, you can ask for the fish individually. So you can say, for example, quero quatro carapaus, se faz favor, or por favor. Or you can ask for them by weight. So you could say, eu quero um quilo de sardinhas, se faz favor. Um, and then you can ask them to prepare the fish for you. So to say that, you would say, pod preparar o peixe, por favor. Can you prepare the fish please and they generally know that this means taking out the insides and taking off the head sometimes they leave the head so if you don't want the head you can say pod tirar a cabeça if you want to take out the insides what I learned was to say tirar a tripa <laughs> not doesn't sound nice uh, tirar as escamas remover as escamas is to take the scales off the fish um, fazer em filetes is to fillet the fish and also a new one that I learned recently which is escalar which means to actually open the fish out and um, take out the, the main the all the main fish bones so the word for fish bones by the way is escamas it's escamas uh, it's espinhas escamas are the scales espinhas are the fish bones not like osso like in um, animals um, so you can say, pod limpar o peixe se faz favor, pod tirar a cabeça, pod tirar as tripas. So you can ask all these things. Um, so generally, um, you know, the larger fish you can get in filets, like filets de salmão, filets de pescada. And you often see those already filleted. Um, you can also get slices or what they call postas. Now, a posta is a word that we use for sliced fish. It's specific to fish. Um, we also have the word medallions, which is kind of like a thick rounded slice. So if you want three slices of salmon, you can say quero três postas de salmão, se faz favor. And then you can say whether you want them thick or thin. Grossas would be thick, 
finas would be thin. So, quero três postas de atum. Quero três postas finas de atum. Um, generally, when you tell them what you're going to do with the fish, they know how to cut it. So, if you say that um, é para fritar, they'll know that it's to fry and they'll cut it thinner. If you say é para cozer, they'll know that it's to, um, to poach or to cook and they will cut it thicker. And they might ask you, you know, assim, assim, so they might show you and you just say sim, sim, assim, sim. Um, peixe inteiro is the whole fish. O peixe inteiro, that's the whole fish. And sometimes with a whole fish, you might want to do it in the oven. Assar no forno. So, para assar no forno. Or para grelhar, which is to do on the open barbecue or even under the grill. If you're not sure what fish you want, you can always ask the fishmonger. So you can say, qual é o melhor peixe para grelhar? Qual é o melhor peixe para fritar? And they will generally give you the, the correct answer. The, so they, they know they're fish. Um, also, once you've bought the fish, you might want to know if you can freeze it. So you can say, posso congelar? Um, and this is a word that came up in another lesson, which I thought was quite a good one, was descongelado. If you see this word written, Descongelado, that means thawed. So that means that is a product that's been frozen and been thawed out. This was a very quick video. I was just testing the software to see if I can deal with all this. And um, I'm just going to check out, see how it turned out, if it actually went live or not. So I'm going to stop it here, folks, and I will see you next time.